In this week's project, we'll show you how to build a portable mini PC. This seven inch display has a built-in battery and it works with any HDMI device. We're using this project to manage our 3D printers because we find it much more portable than a laptop. It's fairly small and can actually fit on the bed of our 3D printer. It's got built-in USB charging, so it's an all-in-one solution that works really well when you need to diagnose your machine or just when you need to bring your computer to your workbench. This is a Kangaroo Mini PC with Windows 10. It also has a built-in battery with charging and an HDMI out connection. We've mounted it to the back of the 3D printed case so it's all together in a single unit. These HDMI connectors are really slim and mounted to a PCB, giving this project a low profile. The case is 3D printed in PLA on a Type A Machines 3D printer. The cover is designed to snap fit over the case and all the components can be secured with machine screws. We used 26 gauge silicone coated wires and we only need 4 connections. Prepare the wires by stripping the tips using wire strippers and apply solder to tin them. This will prevent the wires from fraying. The PowerBoost 1000C has an onboard voltage regulator and USB charging. We'll need to connect our wires using a soldering iron. We'll then wire a small slide switch to the enable and ground pins on the PowerBoost. This will allow us to power the circuit on and off. Next, we'll connect the voltage and ground wires from the PowerBoost to the display driver. The HDMI connectors are right angled and feature a latching mechanism. It's easy to connect the flat ribbon cable and plug them into the HDMI connector on the display. The mounting tabs on the display driver rest on top of the 3D printed standoffs. The power boost is mounted to the cover and positioned so we can plug in a USB cable for recharging the battery. The slide switch can be mounted to a built-in holder near the top of the case and secured with friction. We'll use some gaffer's tape to attach the battery to the cover of the case. This is an easy way to keep the battery in place and it adds a bit of protection. With all of our components in place, we can then secure the display to the cover with machine screws. And before we close it up, we'll need to thread the flat HDMI cable through the slit on the cover. After that, we'll close it up and press the edges together so that the nubs fit into the little indentations on the side walls. Now we can connect the flat HDMI cable to the male HDMI connector PCB. Lastly, we'll attach our mounting brackets for the PC. We just need to line up the mounting holes and secure them together with machine screws. And that's it. This works really great for any HDMI device. Together with the mini PC and a wireless keyboard and mouse, you can get this nice and portable setup. And since it's running Windows 10, we can install all sorts of desktop grade apps. You can also mount it in many different ways. We like sticking it to a tripod so we can easily prop it up next to our 3D printers. We really like using it for updating firmware on our 3D printers, and that's actually why we made this. The display backpack is really nice because it has an integrated display driver. The power boost will safely power the display, and when the battery gets low, we can recharge it over USB. Hey, if you like this project, consider sharing it and giving it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel for new DIY projects every week.